Okay, so huge news. I mean, it's not that big, but kind of big news. Uh, I will be uh, changing the category of this podcast for multiple reasons. Uh, I guess reason number one. I was like, you know, Jamari's wisdom, you know, society and culture. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to be freaking religion and spirituality. It's my wisdom, you know? It kind of fits the name. It's my wisdom. Two, the reason why I'm changing it is uh honestly i was like oh man could i potentially get more listeners if i did a less common uh category because you know everyone's doing freaking society and culture it seems like all the big podcasts are society and culture i could get a niche audience uh actually there are only two point reasons i guess those are the two there is a third point i wanted to make that does not mean i'm changing how the podcast may uh, it's still gonna be exactly how it is now but kind of awkward because I am talking about religion right now. <laughs> it's just it's not gonna be a running theme. It's not gonna be a running theme, hopefully. Or maybe it will. Even the domes. But see I want to talk about due to pretty uh recent kind of news, at least for me, not for you, because this is gonna be coming out way later. And technically the timeline of the podcast is getting crazier and crazier. Spoiler alert, it's almost the one hundredth episode. And we made our video, Deontay made a trash freaking uh, 100 episode of podcast, which really wasn't that good. But I mean, had to do something for 100 episodes. But yeah, that was what I did. Well, the last episode I did. But that's 100. I'm not a 100 yet. I'm like a 97. So just could be all these other episodes that come out before that 100th episode. And all of those episodes or way earlier than they actually are going to be published. So, timeline-wise, it's all messed up. So who knows, maybe this podcast, you know, I'm going to be hated on. And then by the time I even reply to it, it'll be next year. So it's like, oh man, crap. But anyway, what I want to talk about, I'm not going to say what the topical news is, but it had me thinking about the Abrahamic religion, just in general. Because, you know, each of the sectors of the Abrahamic religions kind of act differently and they hate each other for whatever reason. You know, they're all fighting over different things, the same things, but in different ways, but different things that are the same. So I'm like, why is there so much, why is there so much uh, convolution? Because, you know, they should be all like brothers in arms, technically. It's just that one added another book and then another one rewrote the book. But then it had me thinking, and I was like, wait a minute. What if it actually is that each of these freaking religions have different freaking gods? And you're like, huh? What do you mean? They're all Abrahamic religions. No, 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 no. What I'm wondering is if each of their, their, see, I think Catholicism had it kind of right. You know, they were thinking about this stuff too, I believe. You know, they were, they had all their like Christian science or whatever it's called. Uh, theology, I mean, where they were, well, I mean, that is Christian science, but still, they had their theology where they were uh, trying to figure out, like, you know, the inner meanings of all of this, like, in the books, you know, they were crazy with it. So I'm sure they thought the same thing as me, because what do they believe? They believe there were three gods that were all of the Lord or whatever, you know, the Holy Trinity. But what I wonder is if they were four. Yeah, you heard me right. Four. So I think they were. So how would I describe the four? So there is Holy Spirit. There is the the God or whatever Yahweh, whatever his name is, its name, her name, whatever. There is the child, which I believe. I mean, I'll get to that. I'll get to that. I don't want to spoil. I don't want to spoil. So there's four. There's four, and I think in the same way, the same way that the uh, the Catholics of the day believes there were by these core gods that were all equally called the Lord or whatever or you know that you pray to but this is where I differ because they think they are all the same I don't think they're all the same I think they are literally in a literal sense four separate gods and each had their eras and you might be like Jabari what do you, what do you mean well let me uh, pull this up because I forgot what I said before. I was sending it to my good old pal only at some point. Let me scroll, let me scroll, let me scroll up. 
Oh, okay, okay, here it is. So let me first describe the errors, and then I will say why they are completely different. So I think the Holy Spirit era is basically the Genesis. Like from basically from Let There Be Light all the way to the Tower of Babel. And that's when it cuts off. That's when the Holy Spirit hit its, uh, its era, its saga is done. A new God is in the next part, which is from Abraham all the way to wherever Jesus begins. So that was another God, of course. Then, of course, the child, Jesus, basically the whole New Testament. That is a, another God. And then, you know, obviously the Quran, basically post, uh, post Muhammad, that was a different God too. So why, why do I think that? And I, the reason I think it is because they had such different personalities, each of them, like the way they handled things, the, the way the stories were told, like if we're going to assume that they're real, the way they were told each of these sagas, the like God had a different personality. Like one was more impatient. One was more like, it just let things happen. One was more like rule based. One was more like a uh, official, I guess. Like when I say official, like they made each other words very clear. So let me start with Genesis. Let me start with Genesis. So you could tell that the reason why I say it was different is which I said before. I think I said it in the last, last podcast, but that was a while ago for me. Uh, oh yeah. So before it was like, okay, there's Adam, like it created everything by blah, blah, blah. And then there's Adam and Eve. It told Adam and Eve just one rule. Hey, don't eat the apple. They eat the apple. What does it do? It doesn't like get mad per se. It doesn't like start cursing their whole family line and this, this, this. It just says, get out. You broke the rule and didn't listen. Just get out the kingdom. Get out the paradise. You're, you're not allowed here now. You broke the rule and you lied about it. So they get out. But the God was still there, you know, still trying to help it out. And then, you know, the Cain and Abel thing happened. And what is what happens when Cain literally kills? Again, there wasn't this huge, like, fight, nothing. It just said, get out. You again, you broke my trust. You did something that was not cool. Least. And then, of course, it gave it like a mark just so things would know not to mess with it, basically. Which, again, like, it's a lot more, quote, peaceful than you would expect after doing something so crazy. Same thing. Like, uh, there was a flood. Like, that was probably the most, like, big thing it did. But we don't know why the flood happens. You know, I, I have some theories about that. But we don't know exactly why. But the, quote, official reason is like, hey, you know, these humans are kind of busted. Like, we need to restart the earth and do it again. But you, you're cool. So, hey, build a boat and then, you know, sail the seas while I do this. So we bless the earth, it floods the earth, and, you know, everything, blah, 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 blah. And then, uh... <laughs> Even after, you know, it's still, it still saved the humans. Like, you know, it's still love. That was the thing. Like, even with Cain, even uh, with Eve, whatever, you know, it still loved its creatures. So, like, you saved one and everything. Uh, it said it would protect. Blah, blah, blah. You know, he's, he's kind of a chill God, you know. And then, like, let's just say, uh, even during, say, the Tower of Babel, where like children, that was like the, the peak, I would say in the Bible, peak human pride, where they felt that they could, you know, build a tower all the way to heaven and like, you know, be like the gods. And what is it? What does the God do? It doesn't, it doesn't kill anyone. It just kind of trolls them. It's just like, hey, I'm just going to mix up your languages. You can't understand each other. And now you can't build it. He was like, crap, you can't understand each other. You can't build it. And then they went on their way. Like, if anything, like the God, of, or say, quote, Holy Spirit or whatever, the God pre-Abraham was kind of a silent God almost. It never really revealed itself. It never like showed what it was. It just like kind of gave rules. People broke it. It's like, 
okay, uh, you know, just leave. Or, oh, I'm just going to troll you guys so you guys can't do anything. But then that brings you to the Abraham, like post-Abraham God. That one acts completely different. That is almost, I would argue, the most angry of all of the all of the errors. Just pissed off God for everything. You mess up. You are done. You're done. Like, for example, like he's like choosing people because the say the Genesis God did not choose any people. Like, you know, they they were literally the first humans. I guess you could say he chose Noah. But like, you know, it didn't like choose a people. It just chose pe one singular person kind of thing. But this one, you know, it's saying, oh, you are the chosen people. It's giving gifts. It's showing itself. You know, it has the burning bush. It's revealing itself to it. It's uh, giving gifts or rewards. Like the first God, you know, your reward was already there. And people kind of broke the, the truths. But this one is saying, if you do this, you will be rewarded. Oh, if you do this, you will go into the permanent gates of heaven. Oh, if you do this, you know, you will get riches. Oh, if you do this, you know, this one is making bets with the devil. You know, saying like, oh, man, you, know, you really think they're going to, this guy's going to kill his child for me? You know, like, like, it's completely different style. It's saying, screw everyone except these people. You know, the people who aren't part of the, the secret group, you know, they get locusts. The firstborn's killed. Oh, say that special group. They're hiking in the desert for 40 freaking years looking for this promised land that it promised if they do this. And, you know, some of them get a little mad because, you know, they've been running around in the desert for 40 years. Literally, for them, it might be two generations. Look at only eating manna. They're eating the same thing over and over. Some of them are like, dang, this God sucks. Like, you know, we're technically living a better life in Egypt. What does that God do? He literally just terminates those guys. It terminates each one who complains. It just kills them. Like, that was never a thing before. That was never a thing in Genesis. It didn't just, just kill this group of like, people. Or, like, I guess you could argue the flood. But, like, you know, you could argue the flood didn't technically kill these people. You know, they could have prepared if they wanted to, I guess. But still, this one just, just turns them into dust. It's like, oh, you know, making people die painfully. Oh, there's like this one story where there's this bald preacher or whatever it was, a bald something. Some kids being kids, they make fun of it. It's like, oh, you're bald. You know, kids being stupid. What does that God give the power to the preacher to do? Literally gets a bear and has to maul them to death. Maul them to death. Kids, 40 freaking kids mauled to death by a bear. Like this was never a thing in Genesis. The God gambles. Makes bets with Satan. Like, you know, oh, it like to destroy someone's life, you know? Destroy someone's life just to see if they are, like, you know, if they truly are devout or whatever. Like, you know, oh man, is this guy really, you know, all about it? You know, he had a good life. Let me take it away. Let me see if he's all about it. And he still was, but still, it's like, what the heck? What was, what was the point of that? You're supposed to be the guy. You know, blah, 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 blah. That is, you know, the pulse of Abraham. There's a that second God in such a different personality type, such a different, where it's like, what the heck? Like, how does that even change? Like, you know, you would think the almighty, old, eternal God would not really have such a shift in their personality, but it did, which makes me think, huh, I think those two were different gods. And then, say, the third one, the child. Now, this one's work is a little different. I think that one, is the first God, at least of the Abrahamic religions, because it's done all the time in other religions. He, like, rather that be, uh, you know, Chinese religions or freaking uh, Roman or Greek. Maybe you can add a little bit of Norse in there. Where this was the first God where the God was created. It was a human who became a legend and became a God afterwards. Post human, like post death, they made him a God. Because even that God, you know, that one seems a little more shooting, almost. You know, seems a little more relatable because, oh, well, he, he was born as a human, you know? But just did some miracles, apparently, and blah, 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 blah. And then you notice, like, its rules are completely different. Like, you know, the, the whole Bible itself, that's why it's a different religion. You know, the whole New Testament itself is completely different. It has different sets of rules, different things that it talks about different ways to like look at the gods and the angels and all of this you know it's a completely separate story 
And again, the way that the thing talks, it's different. It's just a different style, a different personality than, say, the uh, the Abraham of the God or, say, the Genesis one, where you're like, huh, at least me, I'm like, huh, I think that was a separate God. If if we're taking it all as true, of course, it, it's a separate God. And then, of course, the post uh, Muhammad, that one, is to me, I don't know too much about, you know, I, I skip over Christianity because I think we all know this one, that one. I mean, I guess we would all know the Abrahamic one, but still, we, we all kind of know. And I don't really feel like saying all the stories to him. We already know he was born and then died, you know? He freaking, what's the thing? Jesus was killed on the cross, blah, blah, blah. We, we know the story. He's already old as time. That's anyway, the freaking, uh, I think that was a different God too. You know, whatever in the cave, blah, 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 blah. but that God, I think is a little more rule based because like, if you think about it, like Islam compared to like Christianity, at least the average Christian, it seems like people who are Muslim are a little more like rule based. Like, you know, they follow their rules. They follow like, you know, there's certain, uh, rituals i guess to like even reading the quran you know like where it almost sounds like Saul. you know there's the prayers there's the like the certain things every day you know you have to pray towards like every day you have to you know they, they're a little more i think they're a little more strict with like say their diet they're a little more strict with even their the certain like beliefs in the religion meanwhile you say christianity you get a little more leeway like say the pope you know changes his mind sometimes like how many years after they'll change their mind which is but they like the islam is a little more not strict but like you know it's rule based where say the other post abraham or say the genesis one they weren't as rule based as the quran one where it makes you and they like say for example it said rewrite the whole bible like of course the stories are very similar but it said rewrite it because these are wrong. You, we do not want any like leeway to it. Like you could have leeway to the words itself or like the meaning of those words itself, but the words are will forever be the words of the Bible. So it's like a look, not when I say strict, it's a more, I guess, rule based is the only way I can say it. it's a more rule based God, which again is a different style than the ones before. So it makes me wonder, like, how different, how, how, like, that makes you wonder what are these, like, what, if, let's say, just say I'm right. You know, let's just say, I mean, I didn't, but let's just say I'm right. It makes you wonder what are these different gods that, because it reminds me, by the way, it reminds me of these other religions, like, even say how uh, Egyptian mythology is, where there was this original god, which is basically almost like, not chaos, but it's like almost like how nature is, where it just does it. There's no like kind of personality to it. It just does. And then there's like a more deep, it creates other gods. And those gods are a little more uh, have a, more of a personality, have more of a thought process, a planning to it. And then they create more gods that are more personal, more like, you know, more almost quote, human like, blah, 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 blah. blah. So in the same way, say the Holy Spirit, that original set of books, which I think there are some lost books, I'll get on that. I mean, everyone knows, but I think there's proof of their, their lost books. But still, there's the Genesis one, and it kind of goes with the flow, you know? It, it has, like, it has a very, and Genesis is very short, too. Like, if you look at, like, what are the stories, it's basically just Adam and Eve, Cain, then it talks about the children of Cain or whatever, whatever, whatever. Talks, 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 talks. And then basically Tower of Babel. There's probably one other story I am forgetting, but still, it's like, there's not much. Oh, the flood. I forgot. The flood. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Cain, or Adam, Cain, flood, Tower of Babel. That's basically the, two, the four main stories. And each of those, you know, the God is it's kind of going with the flow. It's kind of like, hey, don't do that. You did it, okay? You're you're banished. Hey, I'm still around. Don't do that. They did it, okay? You're banished. 
okay, you guys still doing it? I'm just going to flood the earth. We're going to restart. Uh, okay, you guys built a tower. Okay, I'm just going to confuse you a little bit. The second one is like, hey, don't do that. Oh, you did it? Okay, your, your whole family's cursed. Oh, hey, don't do that. Oh, 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 oh you did it? Oh, I'm going to maul you by freaking bears. Hey, don't do that. Oh, 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 you did? I'm just going to freaking like disappear you guys or whatever happened in the desert for Moses. Hey, don't do, you know, simpler. Like, you know, it's a little more. And then the other one, I don't, you know, I'm not an expert, by the way. I'm not an expert, of course, on Islam. But say with the Christian God, it's like, hey, you know, don't do that. You'll go to hell. But, you know, I forgive you, though. Like, hey, just just try not to do it. I'll, I'll forgive you, but it's still not cool. And the other one is like, hey, I mean, I don't know. I don't know too much about Islam, so I will not have too much of an opinion. All of the ones, the things I know, maybe I need to look that up so that I can actually talk about all three of these parts equally. Well, four, technically. Four of these things equally. But still. Different personalities. And what I wonder also, what I wonder if what would make it more obvious, because the main thing, the main thing that gave me this thought process is what I talked about last time, where it seems like the there was a point where the body started being written by man. And it could be that it's less that it's written by man, it could have been just a different God. And that's why it just seemed like it changed. Like, you know, now it's focusing on a certain group of people. Oh, oh, oh. But what I wonder, what would make these things more obvious are these lost Genesis books. Like, like, what do you mean lost Genesis books? Hear me out. Now, we already know there was a lot, certain lost books for the Torah or whatever, for the beginning, like the very beginning, like we we're talking about freaking Lilith and stuff. Like the, the, they found those lost sea scrolls. So we know, chances are there's more of these lost sea scrolls. Who knows, like of stuff that happened even before, uh, like maybe there's a gap between this let there be light and Adam and Eve, like a huge gap. Maybe there's lost, but the place I know there's a gap is post. Well, well, it's post Cain and post Noah's freaking ark. Because when you look at this thing, it's like, okay, uh, let's just say post Noah's ark. It's like, hey, Noah had this child and that child lived for 900 years. And then they had this child and that child lived for 700 years. Oh, they had this child and this child only lived for 300 years. But then, you know, they instantly went to heaven because I guess they're holy or something. And then, hey, there's this other person. He lived for 800 years. Like, we're just like, huh? You're telling me there's, there's these like 3,000 year gaps or whatever. And it's just a bunch of nothing. It's just like, hey, he had a child. No, he had a child. No, he had a child. We're just like, what? No, 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 no. There was all this drama before. You're telling me. Suddenly, there's this silence until Abraham was born. Something was lost in there. There's some gap of information that's freaking lost. And I wonder what it was. Because what did those things tell you what? It tells you a lot about certain things that would change your viewpoint of everything. And two... And they should wonder if it will make, I mean, that's also a thing that will change your viewpoint or anything, but two, if it makes you, makes it more obvious that this was a different God. Or maybe it what these weren't even gods. Maybe it's only that spirit that was the God and everything else. Maybe they were Jin. Who knows? Who knows? Because the whole, like, betting, doing a bet with the devil seems a little weird. I must say. I must say, you know. But yeah. And then it would also explain. Why say uh, post Genesis it suddenly focuses on a group of people instead of like you know humanity as a whole? Because if you think about it, a minor god or like say a gem or something would want people to listen to it and not be able to give the reward immediately, but be like, hey, I will give you the reward in the future if you do this. You know, it's a pretty human-like characteristic. You know, Jenna, pretty, pretty much humans, but cooler, I guess. Makes you wonder, makes you wonder. I mean, I rambled, but it does make you wonder. But yeah. I think I'm right. Because I'm always right. We know that... Uh, oh, oh, also, the thing about Genesis. It makes you wonder if these other stories, that things that are lost, if they will can they connect with other religions 
like where, I don't know, maybe it talks about freaking this dude named Gilgamesh or Gigala. Maybe it just changed the name a little bit because it's still far, long ago. They're like, hey, yeah, 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 he went on this thing afterwards and blah, 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 blah. He found, uh, he found Noah and Noah was very, very old and lived for 900 years. So, blah, blah, blah. like, who knows? Who knows what stuff are lost? Or maybe it's not lost, but it's hidden. It could be in those freaking Vatican's and those. Because who knows what, how many stuff are like just kind of sitting around in a vault by a collector, by a freaking, uh, by a church, by a Vatican. You can say some ancient tribe in freaking Africa or something. Who knows what other stuff are just hit it and just seen a secret and only like one person can look at it like, uh, until that one dies and then their son and son can look at it or something. Who else? But yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I think that's about it. I, I don't think there's anything else to say. I probably need to edit this like crazy because I was rambling like crazy. I have a look at what I wrote before. Uh, next podcast? Oh, uh, who knows? Maybe I'll s- go forget full blow. Freezy. Because I already am. The world's the last freaking podcast I did. Look, actually, you know, yeah, pretty crackpot. I must say, pretty crackpot. Uh, my podcast is getting you know, more and more unhinged as time goes on. I guess because there's always so much you can talk about until you just end up talking about religion more and more. It's just impossible. You can only get so much wisdom until it just returns right back at your religion, and then you know, then you they're like, oh man. You know, it's a religion podcast, and then they're like, "Oh man, this guy's making sense." And then I make my own cult, and then uh, I make my own religion, and then you know, my religion ends up, pa- uh, you know, ends up lasting all of time because I made a book, and then my religion is the one that everyone's talking about. And they're like, "Hey, wait a minute, there's some stuff that kind of it sounds very, very similar to Christianity, and Christianity sounds very, very similar to this this Egyptian one." And they're like, "Wait a minute, is still a common common thing? What the heck?" Are they just all taken from one another and it just passes through history, but just changes based off of the culture of the time? And then, you know, the new Jabari comes out where they are like, wait a minute, I, I think I, I can connect it all. And then he basically just, or she, you know, or I'll say she for now. And then she just rephrases everything I said, but in a different way where it makes more sense for the people at the time. And then uh, the new religion comes out. Yeah, 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 you heard it for first. So uh, everything's a big circle. Everything's a big cycle. Maybe everything is, uh, maybe that's the point. Maybe that's the big point. Uh, yeah, see you next, uh, next life. Uh, yeah, yeah.